Borrowing ebooks from eBrary is fairly simple. Let's go over the steps. First, you need to have two accounts one with eBrary and one with Adobe. eBrary uses Adobe Digital Editions DRM for books that you can download. This means that when the book is due, it will expire from your computer or other personal device without your doing anything. There are some restrictions to keep in mind. Full books should only be downloaded to your personal computer, your tablet device, or your smartphone. They are available for 14 days. To read on your computer, you'll need the Adobe Digital Editions software. To read them on your tablet or phone, you'll need the free Blue Fire Reader. Let's take a look at downloading the book to your computer and then transferring it to another device. To find downloadable ebooks, go to the catalog under Quick Links. Input your search, and to make sure that your book is downloadable, add and eBrary to your search. Scroll through your results until you find a title that looks interesting. Click on that title, and then follow the link that says Connect to an Electronic Book. That will bring you to eBrary and show you the cover page and the table of contents. If you scroll all the way down on the first page, you'll see how long the book is. In this case, it's 241 pages. Since it is that long, you might want to download it. Click on the Download button and log into your eBrary account. You can now download the entire book for 14 days. After clicking OK, the download will start. Once the download is complete, you can click on the file and it will open and launch Adobe Digital Editions. If you've previously created an Adobe account, the file will download directly. If you haven't, the program will prompt you to run the Setup Assistant and authorize your computer. Please note, if you do not authorize your computer, you cannot move the book to another device. Once it's uncompressed, it will display the book in the library. It's easy to read. Just scroll through using the buttons provided. There are additional buttons at the top of the screen, such as Fit to Width, which will immediately increase the size of the page. You can also print create bookmarks, set your own page width, or search within the book. Like the online version, you have a table of contents on display, and you're able to jump to any section of the book using it. Most importantly, you'll want to check your reading section to get your item info. That gives you all the information about the book, including where it is on your computer, so that if you want to transfer it to a tablet or phone, you'll know where the file lives. You can also see the publisher's restrictions on the book. You can print up to 60 pages or copy up to 60 pages. To transfer to another device, such as an iPad, you would open iTunes. My iPad is already attached. I'll click on it to make it accessible. Click on Apps to see a list of everything that's installed. The file sharing apps are at the bottom of the Apps page.
These are apps that allow you to transfer files to and from your computer. In this case, I'll click on the blue fire reader. And you can see that I've got several books in it. To add another book, I'll click on Add underneath the list of publications. I can now browse on my computer to where the book is downloaded. In my digital editions, select the book, open it, and that will move it to my iPad. On my iPad, I'll open the Blue Fire Reader, and you can see the book listed in the library. Selecting the book opens it so that I can easily read it. Touching the center of the book opens the Options menu so that I can go to the table of contents. From here it's easy to see the item information which will show me how long the book will be available as well as giving me an option to return it early.